Hello, this is Adam Watson, and I am now going to talk to you about when someone shares items with you through Google Drive in one of two ways, and how with that you can organize that and, organ and put that in a place that you want that makes more sense for you inside of your own drive. Uh, in this example, I'm going to talk about folders, but really this could be whether it's documents or anything else. We'd go to the same places and use the same um, process. So, let's say that a teacher, for example, has shared with you a particular folder. The minute that they share that specifically with you, that is that they type your name and put that into the, into, uh, the shared dialog and hit send, and um, that happens. The moment that that happens, yes, you'll get an email sent to your email address as far as letting you know about that. But you don't have to wait and you don't even have to ever go to the email. The thing you need to go to is shared with me right here. And when you click on that, you should see, especially if they just did it, the most recent shared information, which is right here. This is a sample shared folder. Now the key thing is, is that what you can do with it. It's true that you could double click on it and it would allow you access. And if there's anything inside the folder, you could see it. But what I want to show you is, is that, you know, if you did that all the time, and there was lots of shared folders and documents with you. It might be difficult and a little bit um, confusing to keep constantly going back to shared with me. So when you're in shared with me, whether it's a document or a folder, if you want to move it to a place that makes more sense for you, that you can more easily find it, you're going to hold on and highlights it in blue. You're going to drag it. And notice that as I start dragging it to the left, all of my My Drive, which I can put it right on top, are all these subfolders with folders inside folders and folders inside folders inside folders. All this pops up. And the key thing is, is that the minute that I let this file go, it will move, or really in, in a way, create a link into one of these folders. And when you do that, let me give you an example here. Let's go with this folder right here. Okay. If this is a shared folder that other people have access to, which in this example it does, it's saying, hey, when I move this, anyone else that has access to the folder can see it too. Is that okay? I'm going to say okay. Now, notice that nothing's changed here. This is still sitting here in your Share With Me folder. If you went back to Share With Me, you can get to it. But if I go back to my drive, and I go to that folder, I will see right there that that sample shared folder is sitting right there inside of it. And that's the point. It is now another easier way that makes more sense to me that I can go and access that. Let's say someone shared a folder or a document as a link. Perhaps they put it on a website, for example, or in a blog, uh, or they sent it to you in an email and you clicked on that link. Let me show you what that would look like. First off, here's an example of, the, of an email that has a link. I'm going to click on that link right now browser opens and notice that it's opening up here in the browser there's nothing in it right now if there was any documents or, or subfolders or whatever I'd be able to click and see those if I wanted to but what I want to point out is that the very first time that you click on that link you're going to see this add to drive so if I click on add to drive notice it says that's been added go ahead and exit that out and now I have a sample shared folder too, right here, the exact same folder that I clicked on the link. Nothing's in there yet. And once again, just like I showed in a previous video, if I want to put that somewhere else, maybe in that lovely CCSD pick folder, I can just drag it over there, or I could drag it to the left of the screen either way. And as soon as I'm ready to put it in the place I want to put it, I'll let it go. Again, if it's a shared folder, I'll say, hey, anyone else has access to it can get to this too. That's fine. And there you have it. And now both of those folders are inside of the CCSD pick folder. That is it. The key thing, though, is, is that if you click on a link and you're looking on a folder, um, you look for that Add to Drive button, which should be the very first time you click on it. Um, it should give you that, that option and that will enable you to put it on your drive and then from there be able to organize and drag and drop it wherever you like. That's all for now. Thank you.